General Hospitals followed for Tuesday, June 13, predicting sunny current direction to the hospital. That's when Brooklyn Quarterman updated Sunny on Ned Quarterman's current situation. At the time, Sunny's was with Nina Reeves and assumed that Nina would want to confess something, but there was no time. Nina and Sunny rushed to the hospital while Nina received an update that Ned was injured earlier into the Metro Building's women pool. It's a place that Nina manages, so Nina is afraid that she's will be affected after this update. Olivia Gordon and Brooklyn are both at the hospital. They worry about Ned's situation while Tracy Gordon causes trouble by trying to blame Drew Ken for attacking Ned. Zig Robinson was also there, and he wanted to testify for Drew. Harris and Chase was forced to escort Drew to the BCPT. But even Chase found it difficult to understand that Tracy wanted to put all the blame on Drew. Drew explained that he got wet because he jumped into the water and saved Ned at the moment. Apparently, Ned slipped and fell. At that time, there was no one around Ned who could attack and shove Ned into the pool. Chase then searches for clues using the security camera. While Zeke warns Drew that whether Drew intended to attack Ned or not, Drew is still suspected of taking revenge on Ned for reporting Drew to the SEC. Chase will also reach out to Tracy and ask Tracy to rethink the accusation of Drew's assaulting Ned, because Chase said that there was a security camera system at the Metro Building, and the reason Ned was injured was filmed. Tracy was eventually admit that she was agitated by Ned's injury and wasn't sure if Drew really attacked Ned. Chase also made a new discovery after reviewing the camera. It turned out that Nina had intentionally left the scene shortly after. Back with Drew, Drew tries to understand why Tracy wants Drew to go to jail. Apparently. Jaycee was deliberately blaming Drew for Ned's injury. T.J. Asper updates everyone that Ned suffered a traumatic brain injury that resulted in unconsciousness, so Ned will recover after regaining consciousness. However, T.J. is not sure if Ned will have temporary amnesia. Brooklyn makes a worse argument for her father's condition. Brooklyn is afraid that her father will never wake up again. Epiphany Johnson's is also mentioned when a call comes in. That is reminiscent of Elizabeth Bachman's grief over Epiphany's death. Hamilton Finn will comfort Liz at that time. Jack Seller will ultimately choose to continue working for Sunny and keep quiet about the previous video accusing Sunny. Michael Carrenta and Colleen Spicer come up with a plan, and Jack agrees. Jack's job is just to inform Michael about Sunny's action in the near future. Jocelyn Jacks won't agree to the plan, but Dex argues it's the only way Dex and Jocelyn can continue to be together. Eva Jerome does not want to be Jay's Sunny led into Sunny's death in the near future. Austin Gatlin Holt argues that against the orders of Mason Gatlin and his boss is the only way to die. Austin continues to force Ava to obey after reminding Ava that Austin is already Ava's ally and should be thinking of Austin at this time. Then Austin has a new plan to outwit Mason and save Sunny's life.